Alright, so I'm at the Cape Cod Canal um, and I've got here a very popular lure called the uh, Sibyl Stick Shad. It's mackerel fast, fast sinking, um, about five ounces. Uh, I've changed the hooks uh, out. I put here two barrel swivel, or a big, like 350 pound uh, barrel swivel uh, with two uh, split rings and uh, a 4 0 uh, VMC hook. Adds a little bit of length, but uh, it gives me the confidence that this will be able to handle a big fish and not put torque on the ring, um, on, the, on the lure hook here. Um, guys have reported uh, when you have big fish, it can create uh, a lot of force. They can rip that out, so the swivel helps with that. Um, I've only started fishing this lure, uh, and I got a nice fish with it the other day, so I have uh, some confidence. It's uh, very versatile. Uh, if you watch the videos from Patrick Sabeel, on YouTube, uh, it's really it's up to you to uh, impart the motion. It can do a lot of things. You can stop and go. You can jerk and twitch. You can just uh, burn it uh, under the surface. Um, has a lot of things. But basically, I've seen guys here uh, reel it in and give a little twitch once in a while. Uh, the fast sinking is most appropriate here for uh, the canal because uh, the water, as you can see, moves quite fast, and the floating just uh, really doesn't do very much. It just gets taken down the current. So the fast sinking seems uh, particularly important. Uh, this is really good when there's large bait around, um, when there was mac mackerel around the other day and the stripers are pushing them to the surface. Uh, this really did the trick for me. Um, casts really well, uh, much better than the Magic Swimmer. It doesn't have the same motion, uh, but, it, uh, but it casts extremely well and gets uh, in the strike zone. Uh, so I'm going to show you the ways in which uh, I've been trying to work it here. Like I said, this is a new lure for me, but uh, I think, I think uh, it's really up to your imagination. So let's uh, give it a try. So, same approach, I'm going to get it out as far as I can, a little bit up current. Give it a second or two to get down, and then you can see, so, here, some guys just, just do this, just reel, reel it fast, it does kind of a wobble, see if we, see if we can get it in the water, but I'm just reeling fairly fast. It's staying under. This is really nice about this one, the fast sinking. And uh, this is reflective. And you can just see it does this kind of weird, slow, erratic wobble. That's a very simple way. Let's try to get that again. I mean, it looks really great. It's a simple way to work this lure. Um, just kind of does this weird, uh, erratic uh, wobble, not like a consistent action like the Magic Swimmer has. It's kind of an S shape uh, that repeats itself. Um, when the current's really honking, and also when you want to maybe uh, elicit strikes, you give it this twitch, get it out, you see it casts well, even when I do like a, a lob cast, but I do real twitch, real twitch, real twitch, and that, that twitch is often uh, where, where a bite comes, because it looks like the fish is really, really wounded, and it gives the predator fish, like stripers and blues, the, the moment to whoop, come hit it. It gives a nice little flash when you do that. Um, those are pretty much the two ways uh, the, that, that I do it. So either the jerk and twitch like that and or just the fast retrieve.